today because my rights to life, liberty, and security of the person are being impeded by the very government that is entrusted to protect them. Oui, pour ça que je suis ici pour mon futur, mais je me bats aujourd'hui pour mon présent. Instead of being in school, I am forced to be here today filing a lawsuit against my own government. I am forced to be here because my conscience won't let me do anything else but fight every single day of my life. And I'm not alone. I am joined in this fight by the millions of young people around the world demanding climate justice every Friday and by my 14 co-plaintiffs standing here with me today. We pursue justice the government Canadian because his support of long date à l'industrie pétrolière et son échec répété à prendre les mesures suffisantes pour empêcher le dérèglement climatique représente une violation de nos droits constitutionnels à la vie, à la liberté, à la sécurité de la personne et à l'égalité devant la loi. In Instead of focusing on my studies, spending time with my friends and family, and just being a kid, I have spent more hours than I can count fighting and demanding climate justice. A justice for all people. A justice in which we listen to the best available science and act to preserve life. Because of the climate crisis and because of government actions which make this crisis worse, today we are not free to imagine our futures, to dream, to pursue a degree or a career, or to think, to make the choice and of raising children. Instead, we must constantly come face to face with the reality of climate chaos. C'est une honte que ce soit moi qui, du haut de mes 17 ans, doive porter ce message. C'est le premier ministre qui devrait, ici, maintenant, tenir ce discours. C'est le gouvernement qui devrait œuvrer sans relâche pour la justice climatique. C'est le gouvernement qui refuse aujourd'hui de défendre le bien commun. C'est le gouvernement qui perpétue le problème en achetant un oléoduc qui va tripler le volume des exportations de pétrole du Canada. C'est cette irresponsabilité qui force aujourd'hui les enfants à manquer leur cours parce qu'ils ne voient pas l'avenir qui leur est promis. C'est cette obstination à mettre le profit immédiat avant la vie qui nous mène aujourd'hui à notre perte. The Canadian government cannot say that they did not know about the danger that we would face. They cannot say that they have done their best. They cannot even say that what they're doing is changing anything. Either we do what the science says is necessary or we lose our future. We will not let disaster happen. We will hold our government accountable for their actions. We will win a court-ordered climate recovery plan. We will fight for climate justice and to implement this plan until we have secured our future on this planet. Je ne suis pas seul dans ce combat. Nous nous sommes fait entendre. En une seule journée, le 27 septembre, Près d'un million de Canadiens ont exigé que les gouvernements soient responsables et agissent. Chez moi, à Montréal, plus de 500 000 personnes sont descendues dans les rues, faisant de cette manifestation la plus grande de l'histoire du Québec, avec un message en tête, « L'inaction n'est plus tolérée. » This is just the tip of the iceberg. In Quebec, Students are democratically choosing to shut down their high schools and universities. In Ganesa Dage, 50 minutes drive away from my house, an Ojibwe warrior is on a hunger strike to protect his land that is being stolen for profit. Unions, NGOs, citizen groups, students, 
and the entire civil society have united behind one goal. We need climate justice for the world to make sense. That is why I am here today. We have a constitution granting us judicial protection of our fundamental human rights. And we demand climate justice. May the court now step in to protect us. Thank you. So we are young Canadians from all over this country and I'm going to let all uh, my other co-plaintiffs present themselves. Thank you.